My people, hmm, I want you to listen to this woman's story. And then um, you will understand what is going on. This is a woman who said that she is married to a man who came back to Nigeria from Germany where they were living peacefully with two daughters. And because the man had another woman at home in, in Nigeria, he came back and got married to that woman now. And this woman, according to her, said that she has invested all her life and the house that they built together back home in Nigeria, that the man has taken the new wife into that house. A lot of people has come forward to advise him to settle her so that they can at least live peacefully, go their separate ways, and while she grant her divorce, but it is not forthcoming. According to her, she said, they said that her husband left her in Germany, came back to Nigeria to wed another woman after the Catholic Church allegedly nullified her marriage without her consent. This is a very big story. Listen and pay attention to this woman's cry and make sure you share this video. Thank you. Adama, uh, um, Nambiko, uh, one, 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 uh, dear, they are without notification of their marriage. Uh, in the church, tribunal, church, Catholic church, at that is a year, and the woman, I'll go for a senator, only file a la marriage. Yeah, the woman, and I say, and I don't only file my marriage in Odaria. Now, Uronia, Munajimon is so can you ever do generally file my marriage? Can you put any good man about who calls up? Na Saint John uh, Catholic Church, or the Kakano neighbor the house neighbor. Eh, uh, hey, the man I put on one year so why I cook. So the woman, uh, I'm in a video, so I can post here now. I will attach it to this my video. But uh, before then, I can match with the no Olu the woman. Eh, uh, na Okundo could be found here post to uh, the video. Go now, but I'm going to get on to. Chile a complaint. So I'm married to one Mister Uzuechi. For mame he has yeah me keduru since twenty fourteen. So when we one lady one okay her camera is I not so since twenty twenty I we problem this separated man I maybe he divorce my carry me the wedding as then Max Catholic Church no wedding ever put that court room. So ya can hang on that one and mona dima on all ever word back together. So I don't home ni lego ni le na jam ni here ni here. Yeah, ke ha gwa kam na ogala me traditional mare na lo this lady pop her there na my na our house. So another information reaching to me, I will call na he send the invitation. No gala na another Catholic church. I may send the invitation na lo onyozo. That same lady today, today, and another Catholic church, na St. John's Catholic Church, today, without properly divorcing our marriage. And the money up, boom, maka, boom, one, boom. I don't know, I can't see you because I'm going to go to Germany here. You know, allow law every time, every time. When I take care of whom I come in, you know, I'm going to now go on nearly cut our own alone. So even every hedge video, everybody aware I say, Ben is your hair loose again. In my legislative way, every and here that cannot know all. We lend some part of money and give to her. On me child sign, I go and near you name some part of money to to assist me start up my own project because he may abandon all my projects for his sake. Up to now, when I see now, he will hear because he will hear that I But unfortunately, he will hear that 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 he will
Adema, agaba chasi kwenye abo la wiki gezi yanti nao keno direct from the horse's mouth. Eh? One nine one. Unguabata. Hello, sir. Good day. Good afternoon. Sorry about my tired face. I just got back from work. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to share my story. And uh, I hope my story will inspire somebody out there. And uh, I hope by the end of the day, I will be able to also recover a little bit of all that I lost uh, in the course of my relationship. So my name is Stella Ichomai Ihemeche. I'm from Abia State. So I live in Hamburg, Germany. So 2014, I started December 2014. I got married to my, my ex. Uh, we met here in Hamburg, Germany. Yeah, the person of uh, Mr. Matthew Okechuku Zuechi is from Ame Hezia Mikedulu. So we got married. Uh, as I then, I have all my papers. He's not the one that brought me to Germany. So when we got married, uh, during our courtship, we didn't court for long. So he was like rushing me, wanting us to get married. Like I also told him why I want to get to know you more. So before then, he told me that he brought somebody to Germany from Oweri, a lady. So the lady left him. The lady just left him and uh, he was broken he was like a broken man telling me that the lady is a desperate person uh the lady just wanted him to bring her abroad and now she left him for no reason i said okay well can i get to meet this lady because i'm kind of surprised because we ladies i don't think we we leave men that i, I don't i don't think that we can leave our man that is nice do you think, are you sure that you are really nice to this lady? That you're a nice man? Because if you are nice to her, I don't think that she will leave you to, to you know, run away or leave you. After all, you must have spent bringing her abroad. Mm. So I didn't get to meet her. I didn't get to meet her. So during our courtship, I noticed he constantly called a lady and a lady constantly call him and this lady is in the person of happiness Priska Nto Nto Nago from uh, Ik, um, Ogada Ikeduru so to say so uh, sorry about me I'm a little bit tired so I asked him I approached him about the who the lady is so he told me that this lady they met two years back I think 2012 or 2011 I met him 2013 and we got married 2014. So that they met and they had a relationship. But uh, he told the lady that uh, if they go if they get married, that uh, he would like to bring her abroad. So the lady said no. The lady told him that since he has a land at World Bank, New Owe, that he should build the house. And uh, she would like to live in the house that she doesn't want to come to Germany. So he decided not to marry her because he wanted somebody who is here in Germany. That was what he told me. So I believed him. I said, okay, but I don't want problems. So I don't want one to get married now. Uh, the lady would be blaming me that I'm the cause of why you guys broke up or why you, you left her. So he said, no, the lady is a good person, no problem. She's very understanding. And uh, when she told her about me, she said, okay, if you love her, there is no problem. So we got married. Before then, the mother died. So he went home to bury the mother. So I I sent a friend of mine and a sister and my mom to, went to the burial. So when my mom went there, my mom saw that this very lady too is the one bringing food to him. He's the one who even put water for him to take his shower. And like my, my friend and my sister was like, hello, what's going on here? So when we approached him, he said that there's no problem that because the lady is from the village, the same village from with uh, his mother. Okay, we said, okay. So the lady was always in the picture. And the funniest thing is that when he came to me, 
He started telling me that his problem is just to finish his house. You know, they started the foundation and all that. That's all. That he wants to finish his house. I'm like, but we just got married. What's the essence of you bringing your, you know, I have my own projects. I have my own project. I have my life. I have my siblings. And now, at the beginning of our relationship, during our courtship, even before we get married, you, you know, you came, you just come up with a project like that. So, and he was like, I don't have money, I don't have money. I don't have money, I don't have money. I said, ah, what's going on? So, I already felt pity for him, pity for his stories and all that. So, I, he told me, okay, since we are now married, help me out to, you know, build this house and finish the house. When you finish, we can now also look into your own uh, projects that you left. Yeah, because when we come from Germany back home, he doesn't want to go and lodge in a hotel. He wants us to stay comfortably in our own home. Yeah, you know, she went on telling me, okay, what about when my siblings come to visit us? Where would they stay? They don't have anywhere to stay. I said, okay, okay, that makes sense. You're right. So I helped him. About uh, finishing the house, we just roofed the house. The senior brother packed in with the wife. There's no window. He had to, you know, uh, make one room for himself. I asked him. He said, no, the brother didn't tell him that he's packing into the house. Besides, we haven't finished everything about the house. And when we finish the house, he will pack out. I said, okay. Hmm. So we finished the house. Three months prior to when we want to travel home, 2019, 2020, to see the house and... Uh, make the finishing touches like putting the air conditions and some other few things he told me we were together in a car he told me that a boy approached him on facebook that uh, he is the boy's father i said how can a boy approach you on facebook telling you that you are the father he said that he's quite surprised as well as i am i said oh i said who is the mother then do you know the mother he said that he <laughs> Uh, so, sir, during that time, I also, I forgot to add that uh, I confronted the lady, like, twice. I asked her to leave our marriage. So, I also asked my then husband, my ex now, to look for some money, to raise some money for her so she can get herself something doing, you know, so and leave her since she's unmarried. So, she, the lady started calling me husband thief. That I'm the one that uh, uh, spoiled uh, her, her relationship with my then husband. She started calling me husband thief, that I'm a stranger. I'm not from their place. I'm from another place. And, um, yeah, so to say. All right, yeah, guys. So, sir, that's my story. Okay. okay. Very touching and very disappointing. Okay. Okay. No problem. So, you have heard her, all right? Um, my own take on this matter is that this woman, <laughs> they hurry they, they in daylight, daytime. So, with all these um, uh, red lights, all these red flags, you didn't know that the man wasn't serious. The man told you he brought somebody to Germany and the woman ran away. Is that not a red flag? Then later, you didn't even meet the person he brought. He didn't show you in this social media era and age. He didn't show you nothing, nothing. No picture, nothing. He didn't show you. So I feel that this woman, she didn't use her number six at all. She did. In fact, drop your comment. Let's know your own opinion. Let me not comment too much. Thank you. And share this video so that other women in Europe will learn. You will learn if you don't if you don't reason properly. You will learn the hard way. See you on the next one.